That's the tight end Gibson who is in motion straight ahead now a little bit off the edge and that's going to be close to a first down by Don And Fajardo keeping that and BYU waiting for him. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage Pressure up the gut screen pass They've got blockers and a first down and a whole lot more down to the 30 and inside the 30 yard line the He is golden between 40 and 49 Second down and seven. This is Christian Stewart's second start race since the injury to Taysom Hill. Yeah, and he really came around in the second half of that game against UCF last week. Enough so that Bronco Mendenhall told us they got hope now. They believe they can get it done with him, but everybody else has to raise their game a notch or two. And Stewart will keep it. No, he won't. He'll throw a backward pass that time to Jordan Leslie. Leslie gets hammered at the 21-yard a lot of pressure again from BYU. Don't forget, Fajardo's an excellent runner. He's looking down the field, and he'll make the completion into Cougar territory. There's Henderson with a... Sees him stick his arms out wide, and he knows to start his silent count. Butler on the carry, and he'll get nowhere, and he'll get nowhere quickly. Graham Rowley, number nine, down and 11. Pressure again. The quarterback's left, but it's picked up. Down the middle of the field, knocked away at the 20-yard line. Beautiful defensive ton of activities. All culminated with this homecoming football game as Christian Stewart fires in the middle of the field and wide open and carrying the tacklers out to the 15 16 yard line is the tie the offensive coordinator and another good call and great execution is getting open there for the first down and a lot more of target threw it to the right guy and made a quick decision a 23 yard gain now this is Algernon Brown Brown getting loose and he'll get to the 50 yard line and from the three they got to the eighth quarter of football Far side and down the sideline. Jordan Leslie looks up a piece of the quarterback. And they're going to go for it on fourth down and seven. You got to watch for Hecking, 53, because he's a great sack specialist. But they get the throw off and inside the 20 yard line, Mitch Matthews, a big time and accurately. Brown is the tailback, number 24. He goes out in a pattern. Stewart eludes one rusher. Brown will make the catch at the 15 and take a tackler inside the 10. And it's another BYU. Even if that had been a neatly packaged touchdown, it wouldn't have counted. Stewart. Guns it over the middle toward the end zone. And is he in? No. He's going to be down to the one yard line. The diving catch by him. They're going to hand it off and in easily. Lasique almost untouched. And the Cougars are in front for the first time this evening. Six to three. Lasique with a lot more than I expected, dude. From the edge, Fajardo running away from it. He's running out of field and he's out of field. He got belted. A clean hit. Ross Oppo was the intended receiver there. Straight ahead, big hole here for Stewart. There's the slide that the coaches want to see. And he Budley, it's third and ten. Three receivers to the quarterback's right in trouble. And he'll tuck and run again, and he got another first down. And knowing where you're at, and so far, Stewart's been on the money. On the money there with a pellet of a throw to Mitch Matthews. You're going to skip that running part and just look to throw the football after you pull it. Except the last two third downs, he got him out of it with 10-yard plus runs. This time Lasique fighting for the extra yards with Matthew Lyons. Quickly. And there's a first down. That's knowing exactly where you're supposed to go. The leading rusher this season. And he's out with an ankle injury and they get the pass out to Mitchell Jurgens, and he's run out at the putting it on his own shoulders and getting it done 21st pass just a little flipper out here Lasique, you know, he's gonna lower the shoulder and he's in the end zone I think that defender might have seen that rugby clip that looked like the and watch Charles Garrett 24 right here He he wants no part of this he kind of pulls up, ducks his head. That's dangerous. And yeah. Middle screen. Nice move there by Jackson to avoid one. He's got some room down the sideline. Jackson to the 40, 35, 30. Defender trying to get the angle. Jackson cutting back another cutback. And he's finally brought down to the 10 yard line. Straight ahead. Butler getting to the edge now. Butler getting to the end zone. Touchdown. So the CK and Carter, the tailbacks. Brown not back in there yet. And a handoff to the 45 to the 46 yard line is Nate. Stewart. 
Under duress. I think that pass bounced. I, I don't think the hit was too late, though. Well, the officials didn't throw a flag, and it's going to be a first down as Carter finds a nice hole up the middle and two backs, no tight ends, three receivers. Now they send Carter out and Lasique as well. Middle of the field is open. Catch at the 21-yard line. Made. Toward the end zone. Caught by Matthews. Touchdown, BYU. They'll try here, though, and there's a beautiful hole for Jackson, and he had the big pass this running game. Fajardo quickly, a little high, nice catch that time made by Henderson, and he stepped out of bounds. Straight ahead on the handoff, the boy, Jackson's got a quick burst. Fajardo with that pass run, it's going to be a pass, and it's going to be a first down, Richie... Pajardo, ton of time. Throws off the pack. Pajardo, quick, down to the 10. Turner again, driven out of bounds by M Corner blitz, almost worked. Pajardo's pass swatted down at the fifth. Make it two for two. But he paid a little bit of a price for it. Now Carter is the tailback, and he pops through the hole, and Carter making a miss, and Carter gets in the Nevada territory. He is the... Got it to 31-24 and had a potential tying touchdown wiped out by penalty. This is Carter. Boy, has he run well. Out to the 30s. Played against him back in his Philadelphia Eagle days. Now with CK on third and 11, he'll head outside. He'll lower the shoulder and spin and be just a little bit short. They're two for two in fourth downs, and they do hurry, and they get to Lasique. That's a pretty smart call right there. Carter will step in now for the CK of the tailback spot, and Carter will get the football. He'll get inside the 20. Now they're beginning on us and try to run us over, and that's what they're doing right now. That's Jurgens in motion, looking in that direction. There's a tunnel screen set up down to the 15-yard line. The feet trying to tackle a big guy like Paul Lasique. He's going to get away from you. Coming up to a minute, Stewart looking to the end zone. They're going underneath. It's Matthews, and he will get to the end zone. Touchdown, Brigham Young. Can't wait to see the first rankings coming out uh, later on this month, the 27th. What a great job there. Maybe BYU calls a timeout. So let's take a look at what Christian Stewart did in that first half. Well, he threw a lot of strikes. They, they opened up the whole offense for him, which it, to me is amazing. And he's putting on a Taysom Hill type of performance where he's running the football as well as throwing it, making the decisions, checking off into good plays. Uh, it's just been a, a revelation the way Christian Stewart played in that first half. The CK, the tailback, the fake to him. Stewart hits again with Mitch Matthews, who had a terrific first half himself. Catches it in front of him, and then he's been able to get behind guys. Stewart again, and that went a little wide, but a great catch made by Jordan Leslie. And that uh, he said no adjustments there, but this defense, this is a defense that has a takeaway in 19 straight games, so... And they're going to have to wait another play for that one. The ruling on the... Watch this flip turn here by Christian Stewart. He feels the pressure, flips out and away from it, and that buys him time. What it was on the bench there, one of the big crates they carry equipment in. This is Carter, and look at Nate Carter go to the 25-yard line just about. They're going to mark him in between the one. This is from 44. Mm. Wide right. On a handoff straight ahead, Don Jackson's been the most valuable player offensively. Big moment early for the Wolfpack. BYU brings the blitz. They'll dump it off. That's going to be the tight end, Gibson. And he's got a lot of room to run before he is finally bumped out of bounds by Sky. Dumps it off. That's going to be Jackson. And he is a good runner. Gajardo, a little pressure. A lot of pressure, gets away, on the run, caught the 35-yard line, down to the 30, and that is Gibson the tight end. BYU. And some pressure, picked up, thumped off, and a first down. Very calmly fit the Wolfpack, and that 11-403 is not counting any totals tonight. Gajardo, plenty of time, and he's got some room here. Gets a good block from the receiver, and he'll just race out of bounds, and look out there.
toward the end zone. Diving grab made just shy of the end zone. And the top of your screen is Turner. And it'll be Fajardo, and he's in easily. Zone read. Ooh, high snap for Christian Stewart. He gets rid of it quickly. Caught at the 30-yard line by Jordan Leslie. Fighting for extra yards, and instead he'll get belted. And is it going to be a lady? Now first and 25. Stewart, there's Matthews again. No flag, and it's a short game. By you, averaging 92 yards per game for penalties. Stewart under some pressure. He delivers a solid pass out to the... On third and nine, that'll be short of the sticks. Interesting decision. For breast cancer, the women get a chance to interact with the coaches. Coach says he loves a chance to be out in the community. This is Mitchell Jurgens. Thank you, Don. And he is dragged out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Five slides. For the first down, catches made out to the 25-yard line. Mitch Watt could be on his way to an MVP this year, the way he's played. Lasique straight ahead. He'll get outside. What, what could have been a third and long now to a third and manageable. Stewart, middle of the field, diving catch right on the mark. Good defense tonight. Jurgens four catches, 41 yards. Here's the 45th pass attempt, and it's caught in another first down. That is Jordan Leslie, the former UTEP. This is Carter. He's run very well. To the 35, and he too lowered his shoulder, lost the ball, but out. And Carter. Galahi hooching, and now checks in at fullback. There's an ad lib for sure, and there's a fumble! Picked up by Hecking! To midfield, and he's cut down there by Lasique. Lit up, and that's what he did. First turnover of the night. You see him hustling now right there, on the field. It down. It's a fumble recovered by the defense. Timeout. It was knocked out by Randy Uzon. I, 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 there's no question. I think, by the way, the 20th straight game for the Wolfpack with a turnover from their defense. Now Kendall Brock trying to get loose for a first down. If they come. First down, Wolfpack. Straight ahead football with Butler. Here he came back out. Here is the pressure. Fajardo hung in coolly, but they'll be short of the first down on a huge tackle that... Fajardo. Wow, what a throw and what a heart rate monitor, too, at this point. Fajardo going to go for it all right here toward the end zone. Fought, caught. Oh, my. Richie Turner with the grab. That's, that's a good throw. I mean, that's a great throw. The Turner didn't, have, excuse me, Dave, he didn't have Davis. Of Fajardo. This for two. Successful. Goodness. Where the defender Georgia State gets the win against Oklahoma and this here knotted up at 28 handoff straight ahead the CK shoes are coming off with this for Christian Stewart and the Cougars He'll take off And he'll get the first down in slide that time he fought through it off for Mitch Matthews He's number 10 a 6-6 target Stewart in big trouble here and down he goes Lenny jump and so effective now Turner, big punt. Turner driven back to the 30-yard line, but he's got some room. Got a big block. Cuts back near midfield. As they signal to Fajardo, the quarterback. Does it mean punt? No, it does not. It means throw the ball in the middle of the field to Gibson the tight end for a first down. Pressure from the edge, blocked away. Fajardo's got some room to the 15 and the 10. Fajardo to the 5, going for the pylon. Did he make it? Touchdown, Nevada! I mean, you watched that last week when they were down 31 to 3. He took that team on his shoulders and almost brought them all the way back. He's doing a similar thing here tonight. And you see him, he understands where he has to have that low Stewart down. And it's been effective. Stewart scrambling and into trouble. And lost the ball. It was taken away. Nevada has it at the 20 yard line. Boy, nice job by Fajardo to fool nearly everybody. He'll get a first down inside the 10 yard line out of about the six. It's Gibson in motion. There's the clap, the tap, and the snap, and the handoff. And down to the one, and in the end zone, it's touchdown, James Butler.
And Nevada make a lot of excuses for himself, but they do have a ton of injuries. Lasique is the tailback, and they'll swing it out to him. And this is the guy you want with the ball. Lasique is going to hand out some punishment and not going to quit either. He gets to the 45, brought down by... Good pocket, throw to the middle of the field, gain of six. It'll be as quickly as possible. They'll get the first down, the catch made by Mahina. He's not quite. The CK out of the backfield. And did he hang on? Yes, they're going to say. Nate Carter checks in, number 26 and tailback. He's waiting in the pass pattern. They go beyond him, and that's Matthews. Very close to them. He is a smooth operator. Got 10 catches for 132. 11 catches for about 130. 11 catches, the most by a Cougars wide receiver this year. Stewart under some pressure. Can he get away? No chance. Sacked to the 37-yard line by... Wesley just didn't have a chance. Second and 16. Stewart has time here and a beautiful diving... Tonight, 7 for 7 combined fourth downs. Here we go. And the streak continues. The catch made by Houck. 8 BYU. The clock, though, their enemy at 315. Has to start thinking end zone here. Stewart, he's going to take off, and he's got a little bit of room. He'll run out of bounds, I thought. And now he does get the bounds. I'm playing ball. Yeah, you got to think of the clock, though. And down he goes. Flag down, too. Now yeah, they're going to get holds for the Wolfpack tonight. Gives them 16 on the season. Steps up nicely in the pocket. Where do you go when you need a catch? Separation from the defender, and it brought the, him closer to the football. Play, oh, Ben Matthews got it. Rather, touchdown, flag down. Nelson makes the catch. Throw when you know you're going to get waxed. Bam. I mean, he knew it was coming, and he stood in, and McNeil gave him his best shot, and he still took it like a man and threw it on target. And now... They fake it. Now he has to go 10 yards. Big bounce. And it, I don't think it made 10 yards. Did it? No, it did not. There's the throw. Fajardo with a fake, but he turns right into a sea of blue, and he knows it. He's beaten that time. Alex Boy, the goal is to tuck this inside the 10. He did. That's a great punt. Let's yeah, see. The old will kill you in this type of situation. He's been sacked six times tonight. Steps up in the pocket, is hit. And there's Matthews with yet another catch. Stepped it up. Stewart gets a block from the CK. Makes one miss. He's going to head out of bounds. That's a 12-yard pickup. And a B okay, to keep him alive. Looking left, looking toward Matthews. 15 catches. He's out of bounds. Bounds aren't going to hurt you here. He'll go outside to Lasique. He'll step out of bounds. First down, stops it. You see your total yards, 585, and they're down because of turnovers. And that's... Oh, my heavens. He caught 16 for 180. Looking that way again. Now he's going to run to the right. He's got another good receiver out there, Jordan Leslie. He's going to have to get out of bounds, and he does. Picked up a couple of extra yards. Christian Stewart stepping up, avoiding the pressure. Now the fumble the ball, he got it back, or did he? Nevada has it. The third turnover is the fatal turnover. It's Wolfpack football. Running back Wood. Let's watch his ball security here and see how he's, yeah, that's, you see how that ball's swinging around? You got to be high and tight. And Stewart's not that well-versed. Amazing. At homecoming. And it looked to me like it was Patrick Chowda who came with the hustle play and knocked that ball out so that McNeil could recover it. And the ball of energy <laughs> that Brian Polian is, I don't know if he'll be able to sleep yet tonight. Well, they'll have the trip back to Reno after the game. To enjoy, and this one is over. A stunning loss for BYU. They've now lost three in a row. And for Nevada, a satisfying road win for them. And what Brian Pullian will tell his team is, see, the process does work. Do what we tell you. For Ray Bentley and our entire crew, I'm Dave Lamont. And also for Don Davenport saying so long for Provo, Utah, where Nevada has beat BYU. Coming up next, college football final.